はい This is my John Evans L1 or LO guitar. In 1927-29, um, uh, Gibson made these guitars. They are a small, um, maybe it's a parlor guitar, but it's the, it's the guitar shape associated with Robert Johnson. I'm not going to make any claims about that. We have one photograph to, to, to go with that. But it is a beautiful little blues style guitar or any other style. Um, this one was made by John in Spain, where he lives. And um, whilst the, uh, the original Gibsons were made of birch and mahogany and stuff like that, this is made with European spruce top and cypress for the back and sides. Cypress is the preferred wood, I'm told, for flamenco guitars. Um, so, of course, they have an awful lot of brightness and considerable resonance. Unlike a Gibson, this has an ebony fretboard and bridge and um, I think it's, actually I don't know what the neck is made of. It's a pale wood which goes very nicely with the whole feel of um, the aesthetics of, of this instrument. Dimensions, 24 and a quarter scale, small, 1 and 13 sixteenths nut width and 2 and 5 eighths string spacing. The, uh, the body length is a whole 19 inches. Um, it's 4 inches deep at the deepest part and um, what else? Oh, the upper bout is 10 and a quarter, the lower bout is 13 and 3 quarters. So a lovely... Little, you know, it's got that roundness of the old Gibsons, that shape there, um, which is... So ergonomic, it just snuggles into your body. I must admit that these strings are really relatively ancient. Uh, this has been sitting in its case in a wardrobe for quite a long time now. Um, I'm, I'm a dreadnought man really, so um, this, whilst it has the, the 12 fret arrangement and the lovely wide neck here, I say wide. It would have been helpful if I thought to tune it up first, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, uh, the, the, the neck is quite shallow, a shallow C. Um, it does fit the hand beautifully, I must say. And it has Stumac antique tuners, which are identical to the ones on a Waterloo guitar that I recently bought. And that's the reason that this is going. Although I have to say, and perhaps I should have done this, that I kind of prefer the sound of this to my Waterloo in some ways. But I've walked out for the Waterloo, so there we are. Um, there's nothing much more I can say. It's handmade. It's handmade in the image of a 1928 Gibson L1 or LO. Um, it's not as um, classily finished in every way uh, uh, as you would expect on a Collings or something like that. But it is, it, it's still beautiful. It's, it's a lovely little instrument and it comes with it came to me with um, oh I should say something about the headstock um, John didn't put his Evans logo on this at the time it's got a label a signed label in there giving the details of it built in 2009 but it didn't come with a logo so I put this little thing on it which is um, a World War II air raid precautions badge made out of sterling silver 
and I put it on there because it's my initials, ARP. Uh, it's stuck there with a little bit of adhesive and easily removed. And I've thought about this and I decided that um, well, these, these are worth some money now, uh, but I will sell it with that intact. And if you want to pull it off and send it back to me, that's fine. And if you want to pull it off and sell the badge, that's, that's your prerogative. So there we are. Um, <laughs> set of EJ EJ 16s on it uh, when it leaves me the case this is the case that it came in it's um it's a lot more than a gig bag where's the zip gone oh, it's open. Um, and it's really remarkably firm and it just so happens to fit the guitar in really very well. I don't know whether you can see that, I think you can. Uh, so no issues there. Good carrying case, remarkably light and remarkably comfortable to use. It's, it's sealed up with a zip that goes all the way round and it has these handles as well. And you've got somewhere to put your picks on your capo and whatever else there. So that is my guitar and its case. John Evans. I'm thinking of selling it for about half of what he retails his for. Uh, but we'll, uh, you'll, you'll see that on the, uh, on the listing. So, um, <laughs> watching.